With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in the given question, we have been asked that the resultant of A and B makes an angle alpha with A and beta with B. Okay, so we have to tell what will be the relation between alpha and beta when the relation between uh, magnitude of a vector and b vector got varied okay so let us suppose that this is our a vector this is our b vector and the resultant of a and b is represented by this okay so this is our a vector this is our b vector and this is the resultant vector correct now the resultant vector is making alpha angle with the a vector and beta angle with the b vector okay so what will happen over here is when the magnitude of a vector increased increases so the when the magnitude of the a vector increases the resultant vector will get shifted towards the a vector correct so this will be the resultant vector resulting in the alpha will get decreased and beta will get increased correct now from the given option we can say that we cannot directly say the relation between alpha and beta by saying the two vectors okay so option number one is not correct now option number two is when magnitude of b vector is greater than magnitude of a vector beta is greater than alpha definitely wrong as when the magnitude is increasing the angle between the resultant and the vector will be decrease now option number third is when the magnitude of a vector is greater than b vector so the angle between b vector is greater than the angle between the a vector and the resultant so option number three is the correct option now when a vector is equals to b vector so when a will be equals to b then alpha will be equals to beta okay so the only correct option is the option number three okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today